Um, alright, what's up guys, uh, today, I'm gonna have a little tutorial for you, uh, I'm gonna try to be active again, I, I don't know how active I could really be, I'm dealing with a lot of school and stuff, but, um, so I'm gonna try to be a little active, and right now I'm on a really sucky computer, and, um, I mean, it's not that sucky. I used to use this to edit, but I got my uh, my other computer taken away. Uh, this isn't really my computer, by the way. It's uh, more like a family computer, but it's in my room right now because I'm doing this. Um, and so today I'm going to show you how to make a custom radio blur. And uh, I noticed that a lot of people don't know how to do it. And... Uh, I'm not the best editor, but I do know how to do it. And uh, on this computer, I don't have like all all the plugins I have like on my other computer, so I don't have Twixter. I might have it. I might download it. I don't have MBL Magic Bullet Looks. Um, I mean, there's there's just a lot of things I have on my mind. But uh, also go check out my new. Uh, YouTube channel. It's called uh, COD. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll post it in the uh, description. I forgot the name of it. But uh, so let's get on with this tutorial. All right. So here I just have a uh, a random clip. You can play it. It's uh, my friend's hit marker. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be using this clip right here, and uh, I'm gonna show you my kind of like workflow. Really, this is what I do. All right, so I'm just gonna drag it into here, and automatically when I drag in things, I usually press U on my keyboard, then I delete the audio because I don't like playing with audio. And when it comes to the shot, I'll add an intervention shot. But, alright, since it's in here, you want to crop it? I don't have a preset yet. Drag it out. I didn't really do much. But, uh, yeah, so you just want to, like, zoom in a little bit. And crop it. And so those black lines go away. And, uh, Sorry for the microphone. I know it's a little bad on this computer, on this laptop actually. People say that my microphone sucks. And I've heard it before and yeah, it does suck, but you're just going to have to deal with it. All right, so you're going to right click this and click properties. Disable resample. You always want to do that because you always want to disable resample. Um and so now we have this clip, okay? Full clip. It's playing. Making my computer slow like a boss. Alright. So, right now you just want to find the part where he hits the shot. And this clip obviously isn't 59.94 FPS. And so, when you use the, the, uh, the keys on the keyboard, the right and left keys, It'll skip five frames or how many frames it is. And to fix that, all you want to do is just go like this. And you want to find where you hit the shot. And that'll be right there. And you want to press S on the keyboard and split it. And this is gonna where you're gonna add the radio blur. And I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna add the radio blur before his pistol comes out, so it's right there. All right. So one once you do that, you want to render this out. So you want to click that, click up here if you're on uh, 11. Click that, and something will pop up here. It's computer slow. I'm sorry. All right, here it is. 
And so I already have a uh, render settings. Uh, we can look at them. Uh, you can pause the video. Um, make sure your project is set the best because it's best, obviously. Uh, you can save this. I'm just gonna save it as radio blur, and I'm gonna save it on my desktop. And click render, and I'll be right back once it's done rendering. Okay, uh, I don't know why I paused the video because it only took like five seconds. But um, so yeah, it's done rendering. You know, click that and close. And here we have it right here. And now you want to go to After Effects, and I just click right, right click right here, and click Import File. It's on my desktop, I saved it as Radio Blur, right there. So we click that, and then you want to drag this in to the new composition right there, and it'll automatically make a new composition the, si the same size as it. And if we go over this, it's the shot, and there's a red screen, but who cares? All right, so now. So now you want to go to uh, Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Radio Blur. Now you can see it right there. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to keyframe this. And so you're going to go to zero right now. And then you're going to click this little clock. And then you're going to go all the way to the end. Or about about right there is good and then you want to click uh... oh wait what am i doing oh my god alright so you want to go to zero and in the middle of this you want to go to right, right here and you want to click like eleven so i haven't used radio blur in a while um... and right here you have eleven before the red screen if you have a red screen you want to go back to zero, and that that gives us a cool radial blur that we can use. And uh, also, I like to add. Oh, I don't think it's even on here anymore. I gotta I gotta add it again. Yeah, but uh, uh, you can add a little bit of CC lens too. Drag it on, and as you can see, it's right here. And so, for the CC lens, you want to keyframe this too, but you don't want to. You want it to be about right there. Well, actually, not even right there. You want it to be like right there, 150. And because of that, because you don't want you don't want the black screen, you want it you don't want the black screen basically. So you want to keyframe this, and to keyframe it, you just go right there and set it back to 500, and that's basically what you can do. And um, I'll render this out and uh, put it in the video put at the end of the video and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Peace.